I made an oopsie. I didn't think. My power has been out for 14 hours. Uh, we had a tornado last night. It's like the third tornado we've had in the last two months. Like, it's insane. Also, my hair looks really, like, yellow. I wanted it platinum. That's why I'm dyeing it, is because I wanted it platinum and it just didn't come out that color and it just won't lighten anymore, so I'm just... Like, it's cute. It looks a little more like strawberry blonde in person. Anyway, so we had a tornado last night that came through around 10 p.m. And now it's like 1 p.m. the next day and we still don't have power. Although it's super annoying because the people across the street have power. Also, I'm like sweating because hence not having power means no air conditioning. Okay, so the reason we are dyeing my hair is because I graduate cosmetology school on Wednesday. So literally two days from now, I've been in cosmetology school for ever, <laughs> forever. I had to take a really long medical leave last year for my sleep disorder, but I'm finally graduating. Get off the table, what are you doing? Good grief, it's like the camera comes out and she just wants to act up. Let's get to the hair dyeing. I, this is Arctic Fox Virgin Pink. I probably have pink hair mo most often out of any hair color. I just, it's like my favorite hair color. It's the first color I ever dyed my hair. Also, this is the first time I will be using like a full size um, color brush on myself because I have only ever used like the little mini brushes that they give you in box dye because I used box dye when I was like in eighth grade and I have literally been using the same mini little color brush since like eighth grade. I'm like, well, if it ain't broke, like why should I buy a new one? But this one's like twice as big, so I'm very excited to use it. Although when I do pastel colors, I kind of just use my hands. I don't really use a brush. Um, and that's what we're doing today. I've got maybe like half a bottle of this virgin pink. Um, and then we're just using some cheap conditioner to dilute it. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you pay for like diluting liquid from a color company, you're a sucker because you can just use conditioner. Also, this is like an old bowl from Olive Garden, I think. So I only use the highest quality. I only use the highest quality uh, gear. The problem I usually have when I do pastel colors is that I make it too vivid. I use too much dye and not enough conditioner because you really need just like the tiniest bit of color. And I want to give like cut my bangs because they're like really long right now. I can't decide if I want to like do the swoopy bangs. I think I want to go back to having uh, micro bangs because that's what I've had the last few months and I liked it a lot. This is probably too much, but also my hair isn't like a 10. It's probably closer to a nine. So I feel like if it's a little more vivid, that's okay. And the other thing is when you dilute color, you want to mix it really, really, really well, because if not, you'll get like streaks in your hair where it's darker in one place and then lighter in another place. Look how big this brush is. Literally just wanted to make a video because my power is out and I don't have anything to do. Like I was reading my book for a while and then I was on TikTok for a while, but I don't want to use all my phone battery up. But I also wanted to ask you guys, cause I haven't made a video essay in a long time. Cause I kind of don't know what to talk about. I was thinking about doing a video on like weird core and loser core. Um, although now like the whole office siren aesthetic is, out has dropped new aesthetic just dropped um but i really just wanted to hear like what you guys want um because i'm at like three thousand something 
subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Like that's insane that people have subscribed to me despite the fact that I never post. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And it makes me super happy. So thank you. This looks like bubble gum. It's so cute. And it's going to look darker. Um, but when it goes on my hair, it'll look lighter. Hopefully. So like I want to keep making videos. I just don't know what to do. Because like I like doing a video essay. I, I know you guys probably subscribe to me for my video essays. So please leave a comment. Um, if there's like a certain aesthetic or like... Um, I'd like to do movie reviews. I have, <laughs> I've been working on this video for the, uh, like a review of the Pretty Little Liars reboot because it was terrible. Leave a comment if there's any um, aesthetics or topics you want me to make a video essay on. And also I love doing vlogs. Like I'm, I'm I don't watch vlogs. The only vlogs I watch are like Kelsey Crapple. I love her vlogs. I liked when Nicole Raffi used to do vlogs, although I still like her content now. I just don't, I don't watch her stuff as much. I used to watch a lot of Nicole Raffi and in her soft grunge, hello, in her soft grunge video, she used like my um, thumbnail for my soft grunge video essay. And I was like, oh my God, Nicole Raffi like clicked on my video, that's insane. I don't know if she watched it. I kind of hope she didn't because that was my first video and it was like really bad in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good. And again, I mostly use my hands for this. I usually just like part down the middle and just get after it. Yeah, that's good. I know it looks like really light, but that's what we want. I also, I know a lot of people, I know my biggest video is obviously the scene kid video i like making scene content i just don't want it to be like my entire channel because i don't dress that way every day i usually just usually if i'm not going to school or work i don't even get dressed i just stay in my pajamas all day I really hope this will come out like super Tumblr girl because y'all know me, I'm forever a Tumblr girl. All right, now I'm just kind of gonna go in with my hands, honestly. This is reminding me, I don't know what made me think of this. I think it's like the pastel goth, like Tumblr vibes, but it's making me think of those like Disney princess edits where they would take like Ariel or Alice from Alice in Wonderland and like give them piercings and tattoos and dyed hair. Dude, that's so me. <gasps> oh, the electric company, bro. I will be so happy when our power comes back on.
can leave this on forever. Um, because normally I process with heat for about 30 minutes, but I'm probably going to leave this on like an hour at least. And I'm just like glad I'm going back to a fun hair color because I like doing my eyebrows to match my hair. In the last couple months I've had like brown or blonde hair and it's been like super boring. Let me read the instructions maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. This is going to be so freaking cute. I'm so excited. All right. I will check back in an hour after I wash this out. I made an oopsie. I didn't think... I was just thinking about the fact that I could take a shower. Hang on. I was thinking about the fact I could take a shower even though the power is out. I didn't consider the fact that our hot water heater is electric. I thought it was gas. So, instead of taking a freezing cold shower, I'm going to just have a lukewarm cold rinse session in my sink, in the utility room, in my room. So, I don't know, it might still be a little warm. But yeah, I figured it would be better to just have my scalp cold instead of my entire body. Um, so yeah, this will be fun. This is what my hair looks like. Also, power came back on. It's like 5.30, so we were without power for 19 hours, and it was really annoying. I just took a nap because I was bored. Um, I got the fan going. It's good. But yeah, this is how my hair came out. It's so cute. It's very tumbler. I think I'm gonna cut my bangs, like micro bang, again. Although like, that's cute too. It's definitely a little more peachy, cause it's really hard to get like that cool toned pink if you don't have like level 10 platinum blonde hair.